Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, California Weather Watch. Today is February 19th and we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. Here you can see Hawaii, Washington, Oregon, California, upper level low spinning off the coastline there. It's cut off. It's not much of a weather maker there. Maybe some high clouds, very light precipitation associated with that. But you can see the high pressure here dominating the Pacific Ocean here. And this is going to continue to back up off to the west and allow for some very cold air to move down across the state of California here, bringing the snow levels down quite low, unusually low. We'll take a look at those details details here coming up in a moment and this system looks like it's trending a little bit further offshore which could bring some higher precipitation amounts with it and on through the extended looks like we're going to remain active as well some additional pacific systems moving through the state here we'll take a look at those details also coming up national weather service sacramento here of course big snows across the sierra nevada some of northern california the higher terrain but look at the snow levels here four to five thousand feet lowering to around a thousand feet wednesday through friday major impacts could be possible with that because you're going to get uh, snow down to elevations that normally don't see it here. Not much elevation is going to be required to see some snowflakes out there, folks. So a heads up for that. Nice graphic here from the National Weather Service Sacramento. This is the Bay Area here. Check out Thursday morning's forecast lows here. Down towards freezing for many areas, all the way down to the 30s for the Bay Area as well. And you can see some of the higher terrain will be below freezing here. Look at Stockton, Sacramento, almost down towards freezing as well. So heads up for this cold air arriving. Now look at the peak wind gust here in National Weather Service Los Angeles. We'll look at some other weather models here as well. But across the island, some pretty big gusts incoming all the way through the Los Angeles metro, San Diego, the higher terrain as well. This is National Weather Service San Diego calling for those big gusts as well, especially across the higher terrain. But look at this ocean site, 60 plus maybe coming down there, all the way down through Southern California. Uh, yeah, this, is, this frontal system's no joke, folks. It's going to usher in a lot of cold air with it as well. Now, taking a wider look at things here, sea level pressure map. There goes that upper level low out here. This is yesterday afternoon's European run. You can see maybe a little bit of light precipitation. Not much, though. Then you can see the next system start to arrive here out of the north and northwest across Washington, Oregon, eventually down through California. Big snows incoming for the Sierra Nevada here, all the way down through Southern California as you're going through Wednesday morning, shown here. And then watch this low pressure system here. It's taking its sweet time. It comes out over water here, and it's really picking up some decent moisture amounts. Could spread them back up over some of the Bay Area here as well, Southern California mountains. And you can see now we're into Friday night here and it's still hanging on out there bringing precipitation down through southern california all the way through saturday afternoon shown there saturday night into sunday morning here before some more pacific systems start to arrive here on in through the following week potentially bigger snowfall amounts across northern california through the sierra nevada as well as another strong cold front looks like it's probably coming california's way here on through the extended we'll continue to watch those systems though as we go now, this is looking at surface base cape. This is the NAM 12KM model. We're going to speed ahead to Wednesday here. As you can clearly see, the unstable air kind of come down across the state here as we go on in through the day Wednesday, the afternoon, get some heating out there, and you can get some thunderstorm development. Some small hail could get down to the surface here for really many areas here, depending on where this instability sets up here. This would be Wednesday afternoon shown here. Now, this is the European model. We're going to speed ahead to Wednesday here as well. And check this out. You can see some thunderstorm activity creeping down the coastline there, possibly. But once you get to the afternoon hours, you kind of pick up on some of that thunderstorm activity, especially across some of the Central Valley. But you can't rule out some across the Bay Area as well. And this goes through 90 hours. This is last night's European run. Now, this is what's going on here at 5,000 feet, 850 millibars. You can see this ridge is dominating out here across the Pacific Ocean. Put that into motion. It backs up a bit. We just get this really sharp trajectory of this very cold air, Arctic air, trying to bear down into the Pacific Northwest here. And you can kind of see it just overtake the state here. This low gets out over the water a little bit here and just takes its sweet time to move down the coastline here. This is last night's European run. We're looking at Friday night here. That storm system just continuing to sit there. So we got to watch this closely. These precipitation amounts are uptrending here across some of the state here as we go on towards the end of next week. More on that here in a moment. Now this is looking at the European ensemble members. This shows all low, low pressure locations here on, in, on the individual ensemble runs. So you can see the high pressure backing up, the low pressure Pretty good agreement there across western Oregon. Then you can see it kind of creep out across California there. A little bit better trajectory, some deeper lows there versus what was showing yesterday. And then you can kind of see it hanging out there as we go through the end of next week towards next weekend as well. So got to watch that closely for some of these precipitation amounts across California. Now this is something shown here. I don't show this much. This is 500 millibar heights and this is run to run change. 
So in the short term, as we go through this week and on in through early next week, not much change. I actually see the heights a little bit bigger here at the beginning of the trough that starts to open up across Pacific Northwest. But notice how this trajectory is now coming over water a bit more. You can see the lower pressures out here across the northwest portion of the USA and over California. So this is just a model to model run change here shown in this blue, as you can see in this, you know, pretty good polar lope here off the coast of California here as we go on in through this week and it's kind of taking its sweet time like I've mentioned a couple times before already and then maybe some additional systems onto the extended there but I just wanted to show you things are changing a little bit better trajectory here for some precipitation across the state now this is looking at yesterday afternoon's accumulated 10 meter max wind gust and you can see the big winds coming with this frontal system as we go on in through Wednesday morning show and here including the higher terrain the coastline the island areas down there and some of the bay area including the coast line there look at that 60 miles per hour there we'll look at some of those details here a little bit more also later in the video this is the gfs kind of showing the same map here put that into motion see these strong winds arrive down the coastline here as we go on into wednesday morning shown there so pretty good model agreement here on some strong winds moving across the state as well now this is looking at yesterday afternoon's ensemble mean total precipitation in inches i'll put this into motion here and you can see the storm system arrive here. Initially, it doesn't show too much for the Bay Area, but that could change here on some of these runs coming up because this low is taking its sweet time and it might even slow down a bit more. As you can see, some big precipitation totals by the time we get to Friday night for Southern California and the Sierra Nevada there. We go on into the future a little bit more and you can see those specific systems continue to move in across the state of California there as well. Now we're out almost 300 hours, purely fantasy land, but showing you the potential here coming up for some good precipitation amounts across the state of California. California. This would be very welcome here, especially during this La Nina year and with the drought, the drought conditions still currently active across the state. Now this is looking at total snow, uh, just 10 to 1 ratio here. And we are looking at the last night's run, 06Z, which is 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And look at this, it continues to show some of this snowfall all the way across the Bay Area. I wouldn't be too worried about it, but it is going to be a pretty low snow level here. So you can't rule out snowfall across some of the higher hills of the Bay Area here. And especially Northern California, it keeps showing some snowfall getting out towards you know even down to the very lower elevations here but i think that it's going to be kind of um, restricted to the higher terrain here but you can see the big amounts across some of the mountain areas through southern california the sierra nevada as well and even the coastal range is probably going to pick up some snow all the way down through southern california here as you go on into next week shown there now looking at Los Angeles here, you can clearly see that colder air arriving here Wednesday. We've been pointing this out the last couple of days there. Nothing's changed. Los Angeles International, look at the uptick in some of the precipitation amounts here as you go on through the um, Friday, Saturday time frame here. You can see that it's kind of a, a reflection of that low pressure system going out over water a little bit more and slowing down. So look at that big trend upward in precipitation amounts for some of the Southern California areas. Los Angeles looks like you might get some gusts up towards 40 miles per hour through arrival of this system here as this low pressure system just kind of hangs off the coastline as well. This is San Francisco. You can see the cool down coming as we go on in through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or some pretty chilly overnight lows possible as you go through mid and later next week as well. And some highs might not even be getting out of the 40s here. Pretty chilly. This is San Francisco here. Now, I want to show you something here. So the, the grid here does include some areas with a little bit of higher elevation. You have to watch out for stuff like this when you're looking at these ensemble members and the total snow plume. So this is not just the exact airport. The resolution does take into account some of the higher terrain around it. But it is showing some snowfall here for the, some of the higher hills around San Francisco out there. So... It's not impossible to get snowfall down into San Francisco. It's just highly unlikely here. Better chance for the higher hills there. Now look at some of the wind speeds coming through San Francisco here as well. The mean all the way into the lower 50s here, and you can see plenty of ensembles well up into the 50 mile per hour range here. So expect strong winds as you go on in through the day Tuesday into, tu into Tuesday night here shown. Now this is San Diego. You see the arrival of the cold air coming up here as well. But, you know, it depends on just what that low pressure system does. It might continue to pump some southwesterly flow off the ocean back into the area there, which would keep them from getting too cold right along the immediate coastline there, but would increase precipitation amounts. And you can clearly see this here in the multiple run trend here. You can see the increase of precipitation coming here on the most recent one as of yesterday afternoons versus previous runs there. So uptrending there also. <clears throat> 
This is San Diego, what the ensemble mean for wind speeds into the lower 40s here. Some of the ensembles have upper 40s there as well. So pretty powerful winds moving down all the way through Southern California there. Look at Catalina Airport here. I mean, the, the mean is all the way into the lower 60s here. Just incredible winds coming down with kind of a northwesterly component there as it moves down the coastline there. Some of the ensembles up towards 70 miles per hour. Pretty strong winds incoming, folks. So look at Big Bear City Airport. Want to point out the higher terrain. Going to get some strong winds here as well. The ensemble mean gets getting up towards 60 mile per hour as well. This is looking at Los Angeles. And I just had to show this from yesterday. This is yesterday afternoon's European run. And the control actually shows up towards five inches by the time you roll in towards next Friday afternoon. I wouldn't expect that, but you can see some pretty impressive precipitation amounts as the mean is up towards two inches here as you get on towards Friday night. Uh, actually Saturday night, I should be saying here, and the five inches would have come by Saturday afternoon shown there. But good precipitation amounts coming in here by next week, and it looks like a good bet there for a lot of Southern California. This is Lake Tahoe here, and this system, as it moves down through Northern California, isn't going to have huge amounts of moisture to work with here, and you can kind of see that reflected there, but you can also see that reflected here as the Pacific systems start to move in here. Some better precipitation amounts would bring heavier snowfall amounts as well as we go on in through uh, later portions portions of February shown there. Siskiyou County Airport here, some pretty good snows are going to be coming, especially for I-5 down there as well. Heads up, traveling north and southbound on I-5 across northern California here as you start to go on through the day Tuesday into Wednesday morning. This is Arcata. Now, again, this is a good example here of kind of showing this grid shows a little bit higher elevation there, but this is just some in insane amounts for some of the higher hills or just you know, off the coastline there for Southern California. So heads up there. It's not going to take much elevation to start to get into some snowy driving conditions across places, especially north of the Bay Area there. Big Bear City Airport here. This is going on into the end of next week. Some big snow potential coming in there as well. And this is actually Burbank here too as well. So you can kind of see this. Burbank is about 778 feet here, but you can see the grid incorporates some of the higher terrain around it up over 1,100 feet there as well. But it is showing some snowfall down into the higher hills all the way down into near the Los Angeles metro area there. This is Chico, kind of the same thing here. You can see the grid does include areas up to 805 feet there, but the airport itself is at 240 feet. So it's just kind of giving you a heads up here that this is not just for the airport. The resolution does include some higher terrain around it. Something to remember here when you're looking at you know snow totals on these ensemble members. Truckee Tahoe Airport here, a couple rounds of snow likely incoming. Mount Shasta, you can see the initial system pretty moisture starved for places up towards Northern California, towards Mount Shasta there, but you can see the better snowfall potential here as we go on in through later February. Now taking a look at significant wave height, direction, and feet, put that into motion, clearly see these wave heights increase as we go on in through Wednesday morning all the way down the coastline here. So watch out, pay attention to your local National Weather Service there, possible beach erosion, some big waves, don't turn your back on the ocean, sneaker waves, you guys know the drill. Now this is six to 10 day here, you guys don't need me to tell you that California is bullseye here. And here we go, 6 to 10-day precipitation outlook as well. This goes on through the end of February there. 8 to 14-day temperature outlook. And you can see the bullseye kind of on the state of California as we go on in through early March shown there. And the risk of high winds with some of these systems also. Uh, risk of heavy precipitation goes without saying as we go on in through early March there as well. So we'll continue to watch these systems come in one by one here. Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, click like and subscribe. We'll do this again tomorrow. We'll check out to see what kind of trends we get in the forecast. And I'll talk to you guys then.